Hey, I'm JR, and we're here in the install bay so that I can show you how to install a Bluetooth microphone for your car stereo. When you buy a new car stereo for your car, it's probably going to have Bluetooth, and it's probably going to come with an external microphone. This would be one of those mics, uh, and it usually comes with about 10 feet of wire so that you can route it from a space in your car down into the uh, dash and to the back of your radio. Um, the whole point here is to get this microphone into a location where it can pick up your voice nice, loud, and clear so that your callers hear you loud and clear. I'm going to show you several different common mounting places for these Bluetooth microphones. There's a sticky tab on the back and this sort of a hook here so that you can hook it on different things or stick it to different surfaces depending on your car. Many people will put it right here on the steering column. As you can see, that's kind of a good place because the microphone is pointed directly at your face where it should be able to pick up your voice loud and clear. There's also a nice short path for the wire to be routed into the dash and to your radio cavity. Another popular mounting spot is right up here on your A pillar. You can usually hook this uh, mounting plate into that uh, A pillar trim panel pretty easily. However, you probably shouldn't do that if your vehicle has a side curtain airbag in the A pillar. You don't want your Bluetooth microphone to interfere with that at all. Another popular spot, they call this actually a visor mount. You might put it on your actual visor. It depends on how thick your visor is. Sometimes they just don't fit very well there, but you might actually put it directly on your visor. Uh, or you might attach it right up here to the headliner of your car or maybe there's a trim panel, and in this car, that's where we've decided to mount it, is to the underside of this trim panel, right here, like this. So it, it'll be just like that. We'll get the Bluetooth microphone pointed at the driver, and we're gonna route the wire up into the headliner, over here to the A-pillar, down into the dash, and over to the radio cavity. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take the small end that plugs into the radio and see if we can feed it through here. Uh, so I've removed this panel so that I can gain access to this area right up here so that I can get the cable run into the headliner and out the other side. All right, so I've got the wire fished through here. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of the slack uh, of the wire through to the other side. Go ahead and get the microphone itself mounted and looking good up here. There. So, microphone is mounted securely there. It doesn't interfere with the opening of the sunglasses holder and the wire goes up into the panel and into the headliner. I'm going to tuck it in over here uh, into the headliner all the way over to the A panel, the A pillar. Uh, we're probably going to want to pry this out. And uh, you should, of course, of course, have already disconnected the negative uh, battery cable, so none of the car has any power, uh, including this airbag. And I'm going to go ahead and pry this out. And you just want to keep an eye out for where the airbag is in here and try not to interfere with anything related to the airbag as you route the wire through the A-pillar. Get the wire tucked in before I put it all back together. You might need to use like a trim panel tool to get the wire up in there where it's not going to fall out while you're driving. There we go, our wire's tucked nice and tight up in there. Now I can finish right here along the weather stripping for the car, staying, making sure to not be on the outside of the weather stripping. You don't want to get it pinched in the door. Coming right down here to the kick panel. This panel pries right off and you can route it up under the dash and over to the radio cavity now. When you route the wire under the dash, you want to make sure to steer clear of anything important that moves like your steering linkage or anything like that, the emergency brake. Uh, so we'll just take care to route the wire in a way that doesn't interfere with the inner workings of the car. Some dashes, there's a lot of very easy access. In fact, I think this one might work out, might be able to do it without any kind of extra tool. So 
So it doesn't look like I can get my hands to touch, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a coat hanger uh, and use this to uh, fish the wire through. I'm gonna take the end of the Bluetooth wire and put it through this coat hanger and just squeeze that tight so it won't come out. So the wire's stuck in the coat hanger and we'll fish this up into the dash. Just like that. All right, uh, so I'm gonna go back in and of course I'm gonna zip tie underneath there, make sure it's not interfering with any steering linkages. Uh, looks like it's all nice and buttoned up up here. Uh, and uh, now the cable is hanging out of the radio cavity where the radio is going to go uh, with enough slack so that when it's time to put our radio in, we'll be able to plug this into the back. We're not quite ready to install this radio yet in this car. We've still got some more wiring to do. But when we are, we're going to take the Bluetooth mic and we're going to plug it in to the Bluetooth microphone input right on the back of the radio. Right here, it's labeled mic. And so that's just a little eighth inch mini jack that plugs in right there and now when you're talking bluetooth to your callers they'll hear you loud and clear because the mic's right here plugged into the radio uh, when you're using your voice assistant uh, with your radio when you're telling it where you'd like to go your voice texting while you're driving the bluetooth mic is what does all of that and so good positioning is important so it can hear you uh, your radio can hear you your callers can hear you loud and clear so this video should have covered the basics of installing a Bluetooth microphone in just about any car. The particulars can be different from vehicle to vehicle, and you might want to give us a call, uh, and our advisors can help you figure out which radio and which Bluetooth mic to put in your car. If you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Please uh, ask us any questions you might want in the comments section of the video. Hit like, and if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.